What up though? This is your boy BZ. Back again, you watching BZ Review Beats. And today I'm gonna to be talking about Obliv's Ritual Swing. A producer, beat maker out of uh, Virginia. Been following Obliv since the new Black Renaissance project he released back in like late 2011, 2012. And you know, what I can say about this Ritual Swing is, you know, you can tell it's very um, R&B inspired, you know, as far as your samples and the, and, and the different sounds and moves that you get throughout this uh, 13 track uh, beat tape. Um, it's pretty good. It started off very mellow with um, libations and then just saying with the that's another heavily R&B inspired, you know, sample loop. And then they went to um, Maiden Season, which that track, third track, didn't use any drums, just number percussion and, and a soft, soft tone like kick throughout that throughout that loop which is pretty good but it picked up for me and this is probably one of my favorite if not my favorite track out of this is a flame oh man that that joint right there the drums on that on that joint was layered so perfectly in the sample and then you started out with a silly you know the uh from the martin episode when tommy telling him to explain him how love was you get the draws so you know, that little, in the beginning, was just a little funny. I can tell he, you know, this dude's like comedy because he always having comedy, little comedy stuff in this. I mean, check his Twitter profile. It's Tommy Davidson, you know, being silly or whatever. But anyway, it picked up from a flame. A flame, and then you had a feed and vibrations, which is also another one of my favorite uh, joints on there. And then Tasty Jam, which also had another, you know, comedian interlude in the beginning. Tasty Jam was another one of my favorite, favorite joints on there. Um... You know, thing about Obliv is that you know he, I guess the way he the way he layered these drums over these R and B inspired you know production, you know beats that he have soulful beats and it's pretty gritty too. It's really, it's like a gritty raw R and B inspiration type of uh, you know instrumental beat tape project if you if you like that type of music. But um yeah, just the way he layered these throughout this whole project was was I thought I thought it was pretty well done. But um yeah, Tasty Jam was another one of my uh favorite joints. Then he went yeah I say was it Feeding Vibrations, Reclaiming Our uh Reclaiming Our Bright Right, which is which is a good joint. After Good to See You, it kind of slowed down. I think one of my least favorite tracks on here is Comfort Zone. You know I didn't I didn't I think it kind of like you you was taking me up high somewhere from those last previous four or five tracks, and then you just kind of with that one. And that and that uh huh interlude, he just kind of kind of like took me out of like you know what is going on here, you know what I'm saying? You know it's it's not really terrible tracks, but them, them tracks kind of threw me off, you know what I'm saying on, on this on this project. But then you picked it up with the with the with the title track, which was Ritual Swing, and you know it had a more up tempo, more upbeat type of uh, type of feel to it, you know wasn't really my favorite. I was hoping that the title track would have been my favorite track on here, but you know it's Still a Flame is like my favorite track on here. I think easily my favorite track on here. I love that joint. Um, which was Swing, then you got to, um, then you got the Sandy Now, which was a smooth, mellow, subdued. You know, this this project was is very, very, I guess you want to say seductive. You know, like I said, by the R&B, slow, sex, you know, very sexy type of beat tape. You know what I'm saying? But it's still cool. You can still bump at the same time. It had some really, you know, really cool, seductive, uh, tracks on here that I can appreciate from from Oblib. You know, he 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 don't have one style. This dude has, you know, multiple styles. So that's the one thing that I like about, you know, Oblib is that this dude this dude I mean I've been like I said I've been following for a little over a year now and this dude has many, many styles, many different flavors. You can just pop this beat tape in, let it play, and just zone out. Like I said, you know, oh yeah, future folklore. I thought with that track, I thought you finished the the project out really, really well. I mean, it didn't it didn't take me to no low point, or it didn't have me, you know. It, it's funny because it really didn't have me wanting more. It was like when this beat tape was finished, it was I think the number of tracks and 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 the length of each of these tracks. I think you you kind of, you pretty much ordered this pretty well, put this um, cohesive project together really well. You know, it's not too too long. Preferably, you know, when I listen to instrumental tape by you know album if it's an album I, pr I prefer more tracks but you know i think this 13 tracks in the in the and they was averaging like at about maybe two minutes each track or whatever which is pretty good you know like i said it didn't have me wanting more but i was satisfied with the number of tracks and length that you had this project so it was like once you finished it out with folklore glad you didn't finish it out with comfort zone because 
ooh, that just that just messed my mood up for a second. I was just like, huh? But you know, uh, and the interlude too, that uh huh interlude. Yeah, if, if you watching this, let me know what was that one all about. I don't know if that was just something you was experimenting with or something you want to give a try, but. Overall, this project, you know, if you if you like some smooth, seductive type of beat tape type of, you know, instrumental, you just want to vibe to and chill out. I ain't going to say like, oh, yeah, this is a good one to play on a Sunday afternoon. You know, you can this you can play this whenever, you know, it's just it's definitely one of those from his previous projects. This is definitely one of those mood, like really mood. I have to be in the mood to listen to this, I guess, particular project, you know, but other than that, I, I think the way that you compose this and the way, you know, like I said, the the drums i think you picked the right drums none of the drums none of the tracks on here sounded like off as far as your drum selection on throughout on each of these tracks it didn't sound too off it didn't sound perfect but it didn't sound too off like it, you know it it, met, it it fit the track it fit for each of those tracks well you know what i'm saying so keep doing your thing oblivion you know check it out ritual swing uh check out his he, he's been dropping i mean this dude's been dropping i think this is the third project um this year so far he had black light you had a uh, magnetic coast he dropped so far this year so yeah check out go on this band camp check out his stuff man i mean i recommend you this dude got beats so if you like beats like myself and you know you like different styles different flavors check them out man go ahead and download it you know stream it on this band camp download it i think it's like seven dollars or eight dollars whatever you can purchase on this band camp so go ahead and support um obliv if you're watching this let me know what was up with that interlude thing or whatever but this was also on a beat tape beat tape of the week feature on the dead and hip-hop website i post every every weekend so thought i figured i'd get this a review all my beat tape selections on there is going to get a review on here you know uh, including all the other beat tape selections that i have anyway but thank y'all for watching busy review beats uh check y'all next time peace